Hey Guardians, Alfredo here to bring you one of the many ways to complete the Vault of Glass raid in Destiny. The raid is by far one of the best parts of playing Destiny. So in today's episode, we'll go over what to expect and tactics for getting past each section. First things first, assemble your crew of six players. I highly suggest putting together a crew of the highest level Guardians you know. Some of the enemies you'll be facing are around level 28. Once that's done, head over to Venus and select the Vault of Glass Raid. Here are some of the things to remember when attempting the raid. Knowledge is key. Know where solid cover is. Learn the enemy patterns, and most importantly, how much damage you can safely deal and take before you're in trouble. Communication is important. Call out when you're in trouble and where the top tier enemies are so that someone can help you focus fire on that enemy type. Remember, everyone needs to communicate. Right's pretty heavy right now. Yeah, yeah I mean, nothing's on the left, so let's go right. I'm just shooting, yeah. Oh, middle, middle. And finally, don't die. It's a no-brainer, but one person's death is at least 30 seconds of lost damage and increases the chances of being overrun. Part one is opening the Vault of Glass. The goal here is to summon a Conflux using sync plates while keeping Praetorians out of them. You can expect goblins, harpies, and Praetorian enemies to challenge you here. There are three sync plates that you have to protect, so split up your guardians into three groups of two. Pro tip, Praetorians will take teamwork, so make sure to focus on them in groups of two or more. Not yeah. at all, man. We had trouble, didn't we? We did. <laughs> Look at this level 27 helping us out. What are you guys? I see you. Yeah. Part two is about taking down the Templar. The objective here is to defend the Conflexes, destroy the Oracles, and defeat the Templar. Minotaur is going to spawn now, so uh, get ready to shoot, shoot boss. Phase 1 requires you to defend the Conflexes. The suggested grouping here is three groups of two aligned with the Conflux. Pro tip, a new type of enemy called a Fanatic will spawn and drop green pools on the ground upon death. The pools place a debuff on whoever steps in it called a Mark of Negation. If you're debuffed, quickly walk into the cleansing area, a bright white circle in the middle of the room. The reason you must cleanse ASAP is that the Templar will periodically cast a skill called Ritual of Negation, which instantly kills any player that is marked. Phase 2. Destroy the Oracles. Oracles will appear at one of eight locations repeatedly for a short amount of time. They are glowing cubes that give off an audio cue that sounds like a series of chimes. Alfredo right behind you, man. Yep, got it. Right here. One by a chaser. Side, left side. Got it. If they're left up for too long, everyone will be marked and the entire team will need cleansing. Pro tip, watch out for goblins that will attempt to snipe you. They spawn on the outside edges of the map. Phase 3, defeat the Templar. Expect Harpies, Oracles, and the Templar himself. Now designate someone to hold the shield. The Shield Guardian is in charge of bringing down the Templar's shield and cleansing marked teammates. Hey, go for it, as I just don't want to I didn't it. mean to do that. Run down the yeah. middle. Yeah. We're ready to go. <laughs> Run out of middle. Use the Relic Super to take down the Templar shield in order to deal damage to him. The Relic Super is a ranged super that does enormous AoE damage and removes the shield from the Templar. This is the only means of making the Templar vulnerable, which is why the Relic is so important. Shorten the Shield Carrier's special charge by allowing him to kill Harpy. Pro tip, make sure that someone is always carrying the Shield Relic. If the shield is on the ground, the entire group will die within seconds. Part 3, the Gorgon's Labyrinth. The mission here is to sneak by the Gorgons unseen. The Guardian grouping for this is all six. If anyone is seen by one, it's mission failed. So be careful, they'll catch you behind them or on high surfaces. From the beginning of the labyrinth, walk to the left of the giant center rock. Now run straight until you see a narrow crack in the wall. Enter it and follow the right wall all the way until you are finally forced to take a left. Continue through the hallway until you reach the exit. Part 4, Atheon. Your objective here is to defeat the gatekeeper, collect the shields from the time gates to build the conflux, and defeat Atheon. Phase 1, simply put, kill the gatekeeper. Phase 2, gather the two shields and defend the conflux. Designate each of the two portals. My team calls the left desert and the right jungle. Have the guardians outside the first portal, desert, use the sync plate. Keep in mind, they'll also have to defend it from incoming Vex. Now, send two to three players into desert. These guys must quickly kill the gatekeeper, 
Retrieve Shield 1 and get out. Make sure that desert players are cleansed when needed by Shield 1. At this point, the Conflux will open in the middle of the room. Shield 1 and another player need to defend the Conflux from incoming Vex. The two other Guardians need to use and defend Sync Plate 2, while the last two players head into jungle to defeat the Gatekeeper in order to return with Shield 2. Shield 2, remember to cleanse the person that accompanies you into jungle. <laughs> Alright, where are you, where are you? Right here, right here. Come around, come around. Okay, that's done. There you go. Okay, so we got a shield, let's go top middle. Now, all players must defend the Conflux from incoming Vex. Finally, on to phase 3 of part 4, defeat Atheon. The Guardian grouping here is two sets of three. Designate an Alpha team, players being teleported, and a Bravo team. Players opening up the time gate while simultaneously killing the one-shot killer's supplicants. Have Alpha team against the back wall, Atheon will appear and teleport three of the farthest players into either jungle or desert. Once on the other side, Alpha will have to call out where they were teleported to, either desert or jungle. Bravo will have to kill all the incoming waves of supplicants on the outside and open the time gate for whichever side Alpha is sent to. Alpha, designate one player to grab the shield that is at your feet, along with two gunners. The gunners must kill the wave of oracles that spawn. Be careful though, they spawn and pile up quickly. Mid, 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 mid. Oosh, I just got near. Are you guys Mars or Venus? Blah, 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 blah. Venus. Uh, whoever's with me, let them go right, open up the right door. Another one, another one. The shield guardian must kill the small group of enemies, along with cleansing the gunners simultaneously. Once Bravo Team opens up the proper gate and Alpha Team is cleansed, everyone has a 5 times damage boost against Atheon. Now's your chance to quickly deal huge amounts of damage against Atheon. Pro tip, make sure that Alpha Team quickly runs to the back wall to be teleported again. Any Bravo Hunters should use the Golden Gun to quickly dispense massive waves of supplicants. Rinse and repeat until Atheon is defeated. Destiny is all about personal preference, and this is my best way to play. Got any useful tips for the community? Let everyone know in the comments or tweet me at TheAlfredoPlays with your way of tearing up the opposing team. Better yet, hit me up online and we'll take down Guardians together. Well that's about it for me, I hope you guys pull some good loot during your raid run. I'm Alfredo and I'll catch you guys online.